Welcome to Let's Talk About It, a show where there is no topic that is too deep that we can't speak on it. And I'm here with my girls. Say hello to Moni, Atia, Sandra, and Tammy. Hello. First of all, um, so we're at the end of the summer, officially. Okay, Labor Day is over. Um, we've had, for me, I, I just want to say my summer was wonderful. It was fabulous. Um, did a couple of vacays and uh, spent some time with family. Uh, I, I I have no complaints. So I know you guys had have done some wonderful things this summer. Um, tell us about that. Tell us about your summer. Well, I'm going first. I had an awesome summer. Just a quick quick jump of everything that happened, all major great things. My daughter graduated college, well not college, high school, on her way to college. We took a trip to San Juan, mm -hmm. after that we went to Miami. I just celebrated my 50th birthday. Wow. Ooh, awesome. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. So yeah. I'm having a great summer. <laughs> Looking forward to the season to change though. <laughs> yes, yes. Likewise, I did a lot of traveling this summer and um, spending time with family. Quality time with family was definitely a number one on the list. Being shut in after coronavirus, all the restrictions due to coronavirus and being shut in, it was just nice to get out and mingle and spend time with the ones I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my summer is not over. <laughs> as, as long as you're living, you can enjoy all seasons at the same time. <laughs> She is highly motivated and she is self-confident. Okay, and they have um, certain characteristics and personalities about the alpha female um, in which can she can be identified. So here are some of the ways you can identify an alpha female. An alpha female believes that she has the ability to um, achieve limitlessly. Like there's no limit to what she can achieve. An alpha female tends to have a very strong personality. She has confidence um, in herself. Confidence that is contagious. She tends to lead others and has the respect of others as their equals. She is a natural born leader and mediator. She is not waiting around for a knight in shiny armor. She's making moves. She is recognized by others as being impactful. She is never idle and is always busy. She has extremely high ambitions. She is resilient and she stands up for what she believes. I feel like those are some wonderful qualities. Me too. Okay. But on the flip side of that, some may perceive that same alpha female as being bossy, as being uh, emasculating, as being aggressive, mm -hmm. and as being condescending. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a, that's a term. Mm -hmm. That's a term. Mm -hmm. um, so ladies, why do you think that the same alpha female that is looked upon in such a beautiful, positive light is also looked upon in such a negative light. Hold your thoughts. 
We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> back okay ladies um the question was uh we're talking about alpha females mm -hmm. how can this alpha female be looked upon in such a positive light and then on the flip side of that be looked upon so negatively like what's that all about wow yeah well it's twofold for me uh i am an alpha female however it's discernment it's representation uh, you have some people that just look for the wrong or look for something to say. But then you have women that have that power and don't know how to allow a man to leave. To allow that man to lead her into a different direction. Because we're so, uh, what they say, aggressive. But it's not always like that. Sometimes it's just that we know we have that power, but we have to learn how to control it. And just let a little bit out at a time. What's that to say? Um, listening to you, you know, that description of what an alpha female is, I'm like, oh, is that me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm just appreciative of being here. I'm slowing my taxes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a female now. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> um, I mean, yes. I like with anything, is pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Right? You know what I mean? To somebody, it could be like, you know, she is, she's wonderful and things, different things like that. And then there's somebody else, you know, she's, you know, condescending to me, but. Maybe it's all in the eye of the beholder, whoever. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I yeah. do agree. I do agree because mm -hmm. I'm also. I feel like I've been looked upon in that in both lights as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, sometimes it's the person who is like she said, the eye of the beholder, whoever is looking at you. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's the person um, that's looking at you may not have all good intentions for you and may look upon you in an envious light um, because of, of, of the ambition. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're ambitious, um, you, you're all of that. You think you're all of that mm -hmm. when, when that's not what it really is. It's just that you don't really want to settle for anything less. You know, it's more to your life than just going to work and going home like you have dreams and you have aspirations and some people when they see that they look at that in an envious way you know mm -hmm. and so. it's also it can come from the upbringing as well you know how you were brought up mm -hmm. you know some people are old-fashioned where they want the man to be the head of the household mm -hmm. he take care of all of the bills and things like that but then it comes to that woman who was brought up a different way she may have been for I myself, I'm an alpha female. I work since I was 12 years old. Can't no man, nobody tell me how to guide my life. Mm. So I know that I'm an aggressor when it comes to my business, my finances, you know, all of that. So people Absolutely. say, oh, you bossy or you demanding. No, is I'm a go-getter. I'm going to go get it, see how you want it, see how you like. But that's how people want to perceive you if that's who you are. Mm -hmm. So like she said, it's the, it's the eye of the holder mm -hmm. in how you perceive yourself as the alpha female or how they perceive you as an alpha female. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Having passive people, um, uh, as an alpha female, I, I identify with myself as being an alpha female as well. When you're in a company of passive females or males in the workplace, at home, at a restaurant, at a club, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, they don't perceive you the way that you intend to be received always. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes it's not just being envious, sometimes it's actually being intimidated by mm -hmm. thinking that you're going to take their spot or take their shine mm -hmm. or, you know, people are going to focus more on you. But then in other instances, you have people that feel like an alpha female is a breath of fresh air because you are willing to do the things that they're not willing to do. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cheers to that. Okay, well, you heard it. You heard it from the crew. And so um, on that note, 
We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with Moni's health tips. Stay tuned. <laughs> tips for Moni. Moni, what health tips do you have for us today? Well, today we're going to talk about the importance of drinking water. Have you had your water today? Well, as people in America, we tend to forget how much water we should consume on a regular basis. Our bodies are 60% water, composed of 60% water. And we normally, we're told we should drink eight, eight ounce glasses of water, which is the eight by eight rule. Do we do that? No, we don't do that. But just back to the importance of water, our body needs water. You have a cup of alcohol. You're gonna to get dehydrated. When you're out clubbing and you're at the bar and you're not drinking enough water. So the rule of thumb, if you're drinking alcohol, you wanna drink one glass of water prior to your next class. So if you have a Long Island, you're gonna drink that water. So you need to drink eight ounces of water a day. It's gonna help with your brain function. A lot of the times, your brain function, you need water, you're gonna get cloudy when you're dehydrated. You can't think, your concentration is off because you're dehydrated, but we don't know that. We, our body gives us no signal that we're dehydrated, so we need to consume that water. Um, also, you get constipated. You, a lot of people don't like to talk about that. Constipation, you gotta get rid of those toxins in your body. Water is going to help with that as well. And it also helps move everything through your body. So if you drink an eight ounces of water a day minimum, you're going to feel better. It's going to eliminate headaches. It's going to eliminate those problems that we have when we're dehydrated. And guess what it does as well? Water, let me take a little skin for y'all. Helps you lose weight. Okay, it's an appetite suppressor. Try to drink at least 30 minutes to an hour prior to having your meal. Every meal, 30 minutes, is gonna cut your appetite. You're gonna eat less calories. So water is very, very important aspect in your daily life. So again, if you're exercising, if you're eating, drink your water, guys, okay? And stay healthy. And that's my tip for today. Up next is Atiyah with What's Trendy. Since August 1st, 2021, it's been trending all across social media of a crate challenge where they're stacking crates one on top of the other into a pyramid style shape. People are walking up one side and walking down the other. Some have successfully enjoyed millions of views on social media while others have hurt themselves very bad. TikTok has even removed the hashtag crate challenge from their uh, platform because they don't want to encourage people to continue to complete this challenge. And I'm Atia, and that's what's trending now. And up next is Sandra with Explain Yourself. Has your supervisor ever said to you to look at something on your free time? My free time is my me time. My free time is where I get my own business done and you want me to still do work when I'm not even on the clock? There's no PTO, you're not even offering lunch, a, a, a donut or nothing. But you want me to take time out of my busy schedule to look at something about work. You just wanna tell them, explain yourself. Cause do you really want me to explain myself? Cut. <laughs> and now for my favorite part of the show. The Artist Spotlight. This is where we use this platform for up and coming artists um, and we spotlight their talent. All right, fam, it's your girl Tam. And today, straight out of Northeast Philadelphia, I have for you Luxie Blue Chips. Now, he's been in several plays and, and web sketches. He's an actor and writer. He's the co founder and CEO at The Mug Man show. Now, he's available for film and theater. Now, remember, let him know you saw him here on Let's Talk About It. Let's see what he has. You know what really makes me sad though, Doc? My kids. 
the fact I can't be around them. They growing up and I ain't even around. The fact I can't even hug them at night. I can't give them a kiss on their forehead when it's time to go to bed. It breaks me up, Doc. Nobody love you. Nobody like you. They all want you dead. You know what, Doc? Just kill yourself. I ain't talking about my kids no more. You see how you got me? You got me all riled up now. You got me all angry now. Yo, yo, cut, cut the session. I ain't coming back to no session no more, Doc. I told you. We've come to the very end of our first show, and we thank you so much for joining us. We had a blast. For all you talented artists out there, we'd love to put the spotlight on you. For all of you who have something to get off of your chest, this is the platform to do it. We'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about today's show. So go on and hit us up. Our name is our address. And my prayer for you is that each and every Until next time, we'll see you back here at Let's Talk About It.